for Dana. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that my beginning was his end. After all, we were just friends. Although in my world, I was his girl, so I would pretend to be his wife, saying shit like, it's only so many years in a woman's life. Right, so I gave him three. Yet he had the audacity to step to me on this Donnell Jones, I don't know where I wanna be type shit. <laughs> Yo, it wasn't supposed to be like this. He hit me with the forehead kiss, told me life was a journey, and he was ready to explore this shit. And I was pissed. To me, he was a hypocrite, like a fake preacher in the pulpit, and he left me sick. And no, he didn't choose me, but that doesn't make him right nor wrong. And just because he was the epitome of my life doesn't make me wrong nor right. Like I said, I was his friend, not his wife. And I should have acted within that capacity, and maybe then this breakup would have been just one of those things instead of a fucking tragedy. And all that time I spent mad at him, hell, I should have been mad at me. After all, I was the one that gave him the key to my house and let him hang clothes in my closet just in case we go out. Not to mention washing all his dirty clothes just to make a full load and letting him finish off all the leftovers just so the food don't go old. For the times that we raw dog cause he lost all the rubbers and though I showed him more support than his own father, brother, sister, and mother. And just cause those same people dial my number when they trying to get in touch and he receives mail in my address just cause he be here so much. Got total control of the remote control to the TV, DVD, and radio. And even though his name is not on my lease, got shit in my house that's off limits to me, like his side of my bed and his stash of weed. But none of this obligates him to me because not once did we exchange vows. And if I knew then what I know now, I probably would have listened when he said it was some shit he had to get up out his system. But see, I was too busy bitching, jumping bad like I was gonna hit him. Cause in the back of my mind, all I could fathom was how much I was gonna miss him. But just because I'm crying, y'all don't mean that I'm the victim. Just means I was scared to let him go cause some other chick might get him. And that was my fault cause it was my decision. I should have never put my heart in my mind's position. But I couldn't shake him. He was like a bad habit and all this for a nigga that was just average doing average nigga shit. And all this for a nigga that was average doing average nigga shit like talking out the side of his neck and thinking with his dick. But I must admit he's the one I wanted to commit so either I wasn't living up to my potential or I was just the average chick. But I choose to believe I was a woman caught up in a feeling both physical and emotional who was way too willing to give her all to a man. And though it may sound stupid, guess what? I would do it all again. Just next time for my husband and not that nigga I call my friend. Give it up for Dana, y'all. Oh, y'all, sit your ass down, sit your ass down, sit your ass down.